What is up, everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful day. You know, we are getting close to 40 episodes of Life in Germany. What? The Life in Germany playlist is like six hours long now, I think. I have enjoyed it so much. I hope I've given people who've never been to Germany a good reason to come. And to all my German viewers, I'm glad to be able to give you this through my eyes look at your country. Your support means so much to me. One really nice comment can make my week. I'm not joking about that at all. I can't thank you enough, guys. Okay, well, all that being said, I have an apology to make. Because as much as I've said I love living here in Germany, I have been dogging on my host country throughout the entire Life in Germany series, starting with episode 6, Nitpicky Little Things. I've complained about your language. I've complained about the things that throw me off, whether that be the heaters or the doorknobs. Heck, I've even complained about your binders. And I have decided that it is time for the tables to turn. So here, my friends, are the top 10 most awesome things about Germany. All right, let's get this started. So the first thing I want to talk about is public transportation, because it is simply incredible. It's so well executed, it's convenient, it's reasonably fast usually, and yeah, it's just great. Many times here in Germany, taking a bus or a train is a much more sensible option than going by car. Like for example, going into town during a fest or the Christmas markets, it is traffic suicide to try to get there by car. Public trans makes that so easy, and also going longer distances. It's a three hour train ride from here to Paris, and I, and I haven't gone. I don't know why I do that. However, while public transportation is a blessing, it can also be a curse. Just for example, not too long ago, we went to the Sinsheim Museum as a family. What could have been maybe a two hour car drive, probably more like an hour and a half, ended up being three and a half hours there, three and a half hours back, with a total of, I think, 11 trains. So keeping that in mind, it is still nice to have a car as well as being able to use public transportation. So in most cases, public transit is just great, but then there are those certain circumstances in which you really want to have a car too. Speaking of cars, they are another one of the most awesome things about Germany. Sure, if you want the fastest exotics, you're probably gonna have to go to Italy, but if you want a nice, reliable sports car, Deutschland is the place to get it. Plus, unlike America, you actually have a place to drive your fast cars. It's called the Autobahn, maybe you heard about it. Now, some people might think the Autobahn has no speed limit, that is incorrect. The truth is, a lot of the time and in most places, there is gonna be a speed limit. I mean, it's generous, but it's still a speed limit. However, that's not to say that there is always a speed limit. There are certain stretches of the Autobahn that have no speed limit, and in certain parts of the highway, they have electronic signs that can be regulated. So if there's a lot of traffic, they can make the speed limit slow. But if there's no traffic, they can cut you some slack, or maybe just drop it all together, which is pretty darn cool, obviously. However, if you don't have a car, Germany is extremely pedestrian and biker friendly. Most streets, especially the bigger ones, have bike lanes, or at least enough margin on the side of the road so that bikers don't have to get run over. Next reason Germany is awesome. So let's say you're flying down the Autobahn, doing about 120 miles an hour in your nice Mercedes. Just by driving, you're gonna be able to see a lot of cool historical sights. Because Germany has a path. Yeah, so while the German government, as we know it today, has only been around for about 30 years, the history of the area itself pretty much goes back to the beginning of time. There are just countless cool old places to visit. Old places are everywhere, by the way. Pretty much right down the road from our house is a building that was built in 1426. Let that sink in. It's coming up on 600 years old. You would be very hard pressed to find anything that old in America. Okay, history class is over, because now we need to talk about food. You know, when I was in my language course, there are these people there who were like, I might Gosh, like seriously, the food in Stuttgart is just terrible. And I'm just like, woman, you come from Paris. Of course the noms aren't as good here as they are there. You know, Paris people can shut up because I think the food here is pretty darn awesome. Especially two things, pigs and potatoes. As long as you live in Germany, you will not eat a bad pig or a bad potato. I'm telling you, pigs and potatoes. The Germans have it down. Hey, I should turn that into a wrap. Pigs and potatoes, the Germans got it down. It ain't gonna find no better noms around, you know what, I'm done. Germans know every single way there is to cook a pig, except deep frying, I don't think they got that one down yet. And they know every single way to serve potatoes. My personal favorite, of course, is Schwäbisch Kartoffelsalat. I could eat that stuff till I explode. Oh, and then there's Doner. You know, basically everybody's got pigs and potatoes, but not everybody's got Doner. I actually ran into a fan on the bus the other day, that was the coolest thing ever. Cause to be honest, that was the first time it happened. So as you can imagine, I was like, oh my gosh. And he, 
Christian. Big shout out to Christian. It was so cool meeting you. Anyway, he told me that according to his American friends who had spent time in Germany, when they went back to America, the thing they missed most was Donor. So he suggested to me that someday I make an entire episode of Life in Germany just dedicated to Donor. So I will do that, hopefully soon. Oh, and bakeries too. Don't let me forget bakeries. They're everywhere. So many bakeries. And I haven't been able to try all of them yet. Obviously, some bakeries are better than others, so it is up to you to decide which one is your favorite. Reason number seven why Germany is awesome is... You know, I feel like this should go without saying, but... No! Beer. It's better and cheaper than the stuff you can get most anywhere else in the world. Enough said. Number eight, pop quiz time. Where do you go to get tasty pigs, tasty potatoes, maybe even some tasty bakery pastries, and beer all in the same place? If you answered a fest, Congratulations, you win nothing. Now everybody knows about Oktoberfest, and you might even know about Frühlingsfest, their spring festival, but I get the impression that Germans like to make a fest out of anything they possibly can. I'm not complaining though, I mean fests are epic. Fests are the signature social gathering of Germany, and I'm not gonna lie, they know how to party. Reason number nine why Germany is so awesome is, despite the fact that they have these crazy fests, Germany is surprisingly clean. If you go downtown on a night where something big is going on, there is going to be shattered glass on the street, there are going to be wrappers and bottles and just stuff everywhere. But if you come back the next afternoon, it is clean as a baby's butt. That, that's not a good analogy, baby's butts aren't usually very clean. I don't know what they do, like if they have some kind of minion horde that comes out and cleans it overnight, but it just gets cleaned up so fast, it's crazy, and it's awesome. I mean, obviously it's a whole lot nicer to be walking around in a clean city than a filthy one. And the last awesome thing about Germany, at least the last awesome thing that I have written down, there's a whole lot more epicness that we could get into, is that Germans are not trigger happy with lawsuits. In America, people are, and that's why we can't have nice things there like Kinder Eggs. But no, seriously, because for whatever reasons, Germans realize that usually when you get hurt, it's because of your own stupidity and not someone else's fault. This allows for some very cool things like playgrounds. In America, we have these wussified playgrounds that nobody can get hurt on. Here in Germany, you get epic stuff. Things like this. Oh, and then there's these. You run on them and they spin like a little hamster wheel. Actually, I almost broke my neck falling off of one of those once. But here's the thing. If that had happened, if I had died, guess who we would have sued? Nobody. You know, we can't have nice things in America because if anybody gets hurt or even just experience discomfort for that matter, somebody's gonna get sued. Here, it's not the case, and I really like that about Germany. If there's one thing I really don't like about America, it's how wussified it's gotten. You see, back in my day, wait, am I qualified to say that yet? If you got hurt, you got hurt, because life hurts. But nowadays, you might as well just put kids in padded cells, that's how protected they are. And then these wussy kids grew up to be wussy adults. Okay, I'm done ranting. So those, my friends, are my top 10 reasons for why I think Germany is awesome. If you have anything to add, just leave a comment down below. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and share it with your friends. It helps me out a lot. I really appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more German goodness. Lots of cool stuff to come. All right, that's all I got. Same out. All right, that's all I got, same out. Just finish the video, just finish the video, just finish the video. I do that after every time I make a video. Yes, indeed.